What's up everyone, Coach D Speaks here. So I am now 100% convinced that Donald Trump must have videos of Lindsey Graham and Ted Cruz in the most compromising situations. Because if you listen to the things that they've said in the past about him and how they've now completely flip-flopped on how they feel about him, it, there's there's no other explanation. And I think... Personally, I think a lot of these people have a lot of video on each other, but I think they all realize that Donald Trump is the only person who is crazy enough to actually release those videos. So take a look at this video of Lindsey Graham. These are some of the things that he was saying about Donald Trump just before Donald Trump became president. And then the things that he said about him before the insurrection, before Mike Pence was able to certify the vote of 2020. And then we'll get into the things that he's saying today. Check it out. What is your reaction to hearing what Donald Trump says? I disgusted. Well, I want to talk to the Trump supporters for a minute. I don't know who you are, and I don't know why you like this guy. I think what you like about him, he appears to be strong when the rest of us are weak. He's a very successful businessman, and he's going to make everything great. He's going to take all the problems of the world and put them in a box and make your life better. That's what he's selling. Here's what you're buying. He's a race-baiting, xenophobic, religious bigot. He doesn't represent my party. He doesn't represent the values that the men and women who wear the uniform are fighting for. He called him a race-baiting, xenophobic, religious bigot. How much worse can it get? Then he also said that he does not represent the values of the men and women wearing the uniform. And that's not just it. During After the election of 2020, when Donald Trump was saying that Mike Pence needed to do the right thing and, and not certify the election results and send the election results back to the states, Lindsey Graham went to his colleagues and made one of the most convincing speeches as to why the election should be certified. This speech was pretty much anti-Trump. And, 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 and keep in mind, Lindsey Graham had spent four years while Trump was in office licking his boots. He did. But after the, after the results of the 2020 election, he said these things on the Senate floor to his colleagues about why the election results should be certified. Check it out. Fraud. They said there's 66,000 people in Georgia under 18 voted. How many people believe that? I asked, give me 10. And I had one. They said 8,000 felons in prison in Arizona voted. Give me 10. I hadn't gotten one. Does that say there's, there's problems in every election? I don't buy this. Enough's enough. We got to end it. Vice President Pence. What they're asking you to do, you won't do because you can't. If you're a conservative, this is the most offensive concept in the world that a single person could disenfranchise 155 million people. The President of the Senate shall, in the presence of the Senate and the House of Representatives, open all certificates and the vote shall then be counted. The person having the greatest number of votes for President shall be President. Where in there does it say Mike can say, I don't like the results. I want to send them back to the states. I believe there was fraud. To the conservatives who believe in the Constitution, now is your chance to stand up and be counted. The final thing, Joe Biden. I've traveled the world with Joe. I hoped he lost. I prayed he would lose. He won. He's the legitimate president of the United States. I cannot convince people, certain groups, by my words, but I will tell you by my actions that maybe I, among any, above all others in this body, need to say this. Joe Biden and Kamala Harris are lawfully elected and will become the president and the vice president of the United States on January the 20th. He said they told him 66,000 people under the age of 18 voted in Georgia. Couldn't get them to give him one example. 8,000 people who were felons voted in Arizona. Couldn't get them to give him one example. He said enough is enough. He looked at 
President or Vice President Mike Pence and said, you're going to do the right thing because it's what's constitutionally right. And he read exactly what he's supposed to do. He said out loud what many people still in 2023 will not say out loud. And that is that Joe Biden and Kamala Harris were lawfully elected as president and vice president. But now, just recently, and this is why I think that, I mean, believe me, I think that a lot of these people who sit in the Senate and in the House have some dirt on them. And I think each each person has dirt on other people. But I think they all kind of, you know, go around and they realize that none of them are crazy enough to release it on each other, right? But they know Donald Trump. They know that the guy is immature, he's narcissistic, he's a petulant child. So that scares them. And that is why I think he and Ted Cruz have completely flip-flopped and just 100% have zero morals at all and will say anything to please Donald Trump. Because this right here, this next video that you're going to see is 100% proof of it. Check it out. How are you on the administration sending troops to the border? We heard from Senator Gordon. I think it's ridiculous theater. It will not change the outcome. Did you feel the same about it being theater when um, Trump sent troops to the border in 2018? I feel that Donald Trump did the best job in my political lifetime. When Donald Trump did something, it worked. Everything he did, as Ted suggested, worked. Those are the faces of two very shameful men. I mean, if you look at Ted, when Lindsey Graham turns to him, he's like, oh, God, please don't pull me into this. He, I'm just trying to get through this time right now. I just we, we've already just swallowed our pride so much. Like, please don't look at me. I mean, this is the equivalent to Donald Trump and Joe Biden wearing the exact same shirt and Lindsey Graham saying one of the shirts looks great and the other one looks pathetic. I mean, it's he said, she said, where are you on the administration, the current administration, the Biden administration sending troops to the border? I think it's the, I think it's I think it's theater. It's not going to work. Oh, did you feel that way in 2018 when Donald Trump sent troops to the border? Everything Donald Trump did works. Every he's the best president in my lifetime. What? I'm telling you guys, man, Donald Trump has videos, pictures, something of Lindsey Graham and Ted Cruz because there is no other explanation for why these guys could stand there and pitifully defend him so much. It's so pathetic. Period. Hey, Midas Mighty. Love this report? Continue the conversation by following us on Instagram, at Midas Touch, to keep up with the most important news of the day. What are you waiting for? Follow us now.